today we will be uh, talking about on this simple staining so this uh, what is this simple staining and what is the main uh, aim so the main aim of this simple staining is to compare the morphological shapes and arrangement of bacterial cells so what are uh, so what are you going to say and uh, what are what are you doing the simple staining is to see the morphological shapes and the arrangement and like the name it's, uh, itself suggest that it is a very simple technique the simple technique so let us see the principle of this staining so the main principle of this staining is that in this simple staining uh, the bacterial smear is stained with a single region here you're going to use only one region unlike the other staining uh, method and uh, which produces a distinctive uh, contrast between the organism and its background since you are going to use only one or, um, since you are going to use only one region uh, there will be uh, they will produce a distinctive contrast between the organism and the uh, background so the basic stain with a positively charged chromogen are preferred because the bacterial nucleate cells and certain cell wall components carry a negative charge that strongly attracts and binds to the cationic chromogen so the purpose of this simple staining is to elucidate the morphology and arrangement of bacterial cells and the most commonly used basic stain are methylene blue crystal violet or carbol fusion you can use either of this um, region let us see the requirement what are we going to require for this um, for performing this simple staining so for this we required a glass light then the sterile inoculating loop then the methylene blue or the crystal violet or a carbo fusion but remember only one uh, region we are going to use then the microscope then the uh, specimen this specimen can be um, from the cultured with drug or direct uh, or directly from the specimen so what is the procedure so the procedure is firstly you are going to place a slide on the staining tray and flood the smear with one of the indicated stain that is the methylene blue uh, then the um, sorry the methylene the met the methylene blue the crystal violet or the carbol fusion using the appropriate exposure time for each so uh, for carbol fusion we have uh, we have to use for 15 to 30 seconds then for crystal violet 20 to 60 seconds for methylene blue 1 to 2 minutes so after that gently wash the smear with the tap water to remove excess stain then during this step hold the slide parallel to the stream of water in this way you can reduce the loss of the organism from the preparation then using the bibulous paper or blood dry or any like you can also use the tissue but um, but do not wipe the slide just uh, blot uh, blot it then examine all the stain under the oil immersion so uh, what you are going to interpret in the result is that you are going to since you are uh, since the main the main aim of this test or the simple staining is to compare the morphological shapes and the arrangement of the bacterial cells here the first one you are going to see is a bacilli or a diplococci like it when it is the um, when the organisms are in bacilli or diplococci they will be in a rod shaped bacteria and it will be in purple and also uh, like for if for example we have e coli sgj coli then for the spirilla you have like a sp for the spirilla the bacteria will be in a spiral shape here you can see in the given image uh, the curved shape of the bacteria um, where you can see the spiral shape bacteria for example like you have um, Tryponema pallidum. Then in cocci, it will be spherical shape bac uh, bacteria and purple in color. So this cocci will be in either in a simple, uh, sorry, either in one cocci or a diplo cocci. So for example, like we have Staphylococcus, then it can be of monococcus, diplococcus. So when two, when two, co uh, when there is two cocci, it is not a uh, monococci. Ah, uh, sorry, one cocci it is known as monococci, and two cocci this term as a diplococcus. Then when it is arranged in a, a grab like cluster, it is uh, known as staphylococcus, and when it is arranged in four, it is known as tetracoccus. So when it is arranged in six 
your uh, sorry in it it is known as sarsinia then when it is arranged in a chain form it is known as streptococcus so like this way uh, in simple staining you are going to compare only the morphological shapes and the arrangement of the bacteria how they look like what are the shapes and what are the arrangement so uh, this is all about this simple staining like i said the name itself suggests it is a um, very simple method and easy to carry out where you are going to use only one reagent either crystal violet or carbol fusion or methylene blue and then you are going to observe only for the morphological shapes or arrangement it can be of bacilli dipper bacilli spirilla or in cocci so that's all about the simple staining